Well, lo and behold, we have one of the world's greatest retailers joining us today, Williams Sonoma, to talk about their deployment of exactly what I just discussed, sweet commerce at retail, in the cloud, online. Very excited to have John Strain, the CIO of Williams Sonoma, joining us here today. Welcome. Are you tired from that walk? I mean, it's a long, Jeez, I know, long way. Cute. He's a rugby player, though, so that's no problem. So it just didn't run me over here. So, John, welcome. Thank so you. great to have you here. We're so excited to, to what you've done with NetSuite, not just what you've thought about doing. So, but we'll, before we start at the end, I, I want to get to the end, but we'll start at the beginning. I'm sure everyone here is familiar with William Sonoma. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the company, its history, and your role there. Yeah, you bet. So, uh, William Sonoma is about a $4 billion retailer. We operate uh, in all three channels for us, uh, e-commerce, stores, and catalog. Uh, we're about a 50-year-old company founded by a gentleman named Chuck Williams. He's our founder, chairman emeritus, uh, still shows up. He's 90-something years old, shows up almost every day uh, to check out things in the test kitchen and participate. Our brands include uh, Williams-Sonoma, Pottery Barn, Pottery Barn Kids, Pottery Barn Teen, West Elm, uh, Williams-Sonoma Home, Rejuvenation, and some others. So it's a that's an amazing list of, of brands. You know, if you've got a lot of companies running businesses out here, innovators, how do you, when you, when William Sonoma looks at innovation in the retail space, how do they, how do they look at it? How are you looking at it today with all the changes going on in that market? Well, for us, a uh, big part of what we've been trying to drive has been about growth. Uh, our CEO, Laura Albert, took over about three years ago, and this has been her agenda, is how do we continue to drive? How do we innovate? How do we innovate in a host of different areas? Part of the story has been around acquisitions. We bought a little company called Rejuvenation out of Portland. They're a phenomenal little brand. Uh, we've also been looking at Infill, starting new brands. This has been uh, brands like Mark and Graham, which really focused on monogramming. It's been uh, Williamson on the Home. It's been uh, West Elm Market, which is a little spinoff from, from our West Elm brand. And the third one is the one we're really excited about, too, which has been global and looking at global growth and how do we go find that. We do this through essentially three different strategies. One is just on-site leveraging what we have today to be able to ship through a partner called 51 and to be able to ship to something like 90 different countries worldwide. Second is we've gone with partnerships with franchise. Through the Middle East, we've got a partner called Al Shire who does a really phenomenal job for us. And the one that we're really excited about today, uh, just recently, May 2nd, uh, we launched our first company-owned and operated stores and websites in a holistic, multi-channel way in Australia. So we've gone there in Bondi Junctions where the stores are, but with that, we did a, a full multi-channel, uh, fully omni-channel enabled solution. I think we're going to put a press release out together here, Zach. We did, uh, yeah. Which is really around. NetSuite is our core platform driving that. So we're super excited for what you and your team have done first in that. So that's amazing. So this is your fir the first time the company has gone outside of the U.S. with company-owned stores uh, any time in your 50-year history. That's right. That's pretty So amazing. for us, in a, in a multi-channel way, it's great. We want for our, our customers in Australia, throughout the world, to be able to experience us in the same way our domestic channel does, which is that multi-channel store. Be able to see it in store, touch it, feel it, be able to sell through e-commerce and really make it come to life. So let's, let's talk a little bit. We have a sort of a diagram of what you guys actually, what we did together. It was an amazing joint effort and with NetSuite sitting at the heart of this in addition to, to your world. So effectively, you rolled out four brands. William Sonoma, Pottery Barn, Pottery Barn Kids, West Elm, with four retail stores, four websites, all live May 2nd. That's right. Single system. Single system, all together. So you, you've, we've talked before, and before you went to William Sonoma, you've had, your entire career has been built on building commerce systems. Absolutely. You ever done anything like this before? You know, uh, <laughs> certainly not in this time frame. Uh, it was a phenomenal journey, I think, to get to here. We were really excited to be able to, to make this launch happen as a one holistic solution, be able to bring it live, and it's been a phenomenal opportunity. And it's amazing. These sites are super cool, too. I mean, this is, this is basically what the ERP system of the future looks like. I mean, it's amazing what you've been able to do and the creativity that you've been able to add here. Now, the other piece of commerce that nobody really gets, you get because you're a CIO of a commerce company, is all the stuff that has to happen on the back end. Absolutely. And so it's not just about the front end. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the back end implementation of NetSuite, the things that you had to do there. Well, I think just the, the broader experience has been a real interesting one for us. Uh, how's it been? How's it been working with NetSuite? Well, for us, it's been a phenomenal engagement, sort of front to back. 
uh, starting way up front with a, an RFP selection and a bake-off and trying to figure out a strategy as to how do you go to market. Do you take your domestic sites, which we're really proud of, and, and be able to build those out uh, and be able to deploy it that way? Or do you find a best-of-breed package set and do an on-prem solution that can scale for a multi-billion dollar solution internationally? Or do you find almost, you know, for us, we looked at it as retail in a box. Uh, and we went through that evolution. We ended up selecting NetSuite really to be our partner to help us drive that. And we did it for a couple of reasons. Part of it is the entire suite of ERP solutions that are available. Part of it really came down to the, the people. And for the most part, from the very first RFP, from the very first engagement, the team showed up, they were professional, they were knowledgeable, they had all the street cred, they'd done it before. They brought a confidence and a competence that helped us to have confidence in, in taking this path go forward. And you know, one of the things that really comes to show is when you get rubber meets the road. With a project like this, with this kind of complexity of scale and timelines, really to be able to drive that. When the rubber meets the road, what you want to be able to do, and the best compliment I can give to any professional services organization is, when it all came down in the last, you know, final hours, can I tell the difference? Right? Is it my team versus your team? Who's pointing fingers at who? You know, the reality was, 4.30 in the morning, we're getting this thing launched. You couldn't tell the difference between a NetSuite person and a Williamson Home person. That was, I think, brilliant. So it was the people side was one big thing. The second is really around functionality. As you get into it, because we have a fairly mature business, and because we've been doing this, something like 46% of our business comes from direct consumer in our, direct, in our domestic business. So we're very mature in that context. We know the systems, we know back and forth. These things are, are very important to us. They're material in the way in which we deploy. So given that, we had to have something that was almost what they call pixel perfect. You need to have full functionality as we go out the door. So we couldn't go with you know, a second tier, you know, substandard type solution. In order to go out, we wanted to go out with everything. So in as much, I had to get the pixel perfect. I'm not sure we quite got the pixel perfect, but we got the pretty darn good, right? Pixel pretty darn good, I think is the phrase that's been used. But it really has been phenomenal. It offers all the feature functionality, and in some areas, in fact, the NetSuite solution is better than what we have domestically from a feature function standpoint, and that's great. And the third piece for me is, as a CIO has really been around the technology. And from a technology standpoint, we hold ourselves to a very high standard. Internet retailer would call us out and our websites out as one of the most stable, best performing websites in the top 25. So we come with that as kind of almost an expectation set. And so this is something that we pushed very hard on NetSuite to ensure that we were going to have that same standard. And frankly, I would tell you, you all have exceeded our expectations to date. We're thrilled with what it looks like. And I think the last piece in terms of making this decision and, and going this route has been a bit about uh, the time to market and the risk mitigation. You know, for us, from a risk mitigation standpoint, I didn't have to worry about any of the hardware. I didn't have to worry about security. I didn't have to worry about patching. I didn't have to worry about all this stuff effectively taken care of through the scope of the ERP suite. And in being able to do that, that let us go focus on some other areas. And I think besides that, when we had compared this out, the take your domestic platform and, and take that international, global, uh, versus what we're doing here, it was a three-year cycle is what we thought it would be, plus or minus. We end up getting live in something less than a year, closer to 10 months for the full suite. And the e-commerce piece, it only took us about three months to get up and running. So it was a phenomenal exercise front to back. Well, we're incredibly honored to have you as a customer. You, do, you have an incredible reputation, obviously, in the e-commerce space, thanks to your leadership. Uh, and so they've been tough <laughs> to, to, to match the things that they do domestically. It's pushed us, pushed our team but it's done nothing but make us better. And you'll be happy to know you're a customer of ours. Natalie Forsyth, who runs our marketing in Australia, also was at your opening, bought a couch. So NetSuite's officially a customer of Williams Sonoma. Yeah, thank awesome. You. Thanks very much. John Strain, everyone. Fantastic. Thanks.